Yesterday, our worst nightmare came true. Hackers found a way to take control of our penises. With technology and fetishes evolving at such a rapid rate, this was always bound to happen. And unfortunately, we weren't prepared. Our dick doomsday was yesterday. And I believe that was only the beginning of the penile punishment from these evil hackers. Those same people we mocked for outrageous claims like hackers can get into our Game Boys and steal our credit card information, or, or those boogeyman stories of the hacker known as 4chan who can infiltrate our electric toothbrushes and take control of our minds, may not have been so crazy after all. They warned us and we didn't listen. And now we pay the price for our hubris. Now we're left in a wiener wasteland where no one's cock is safe from hackers. It's like Fallout, but instead of nuclear war, it's nut war. Now let me break down exactly what's happened here. Yesterday it was reported by multiple outlets that a ransomware attack had happened where the hacker was targeting BDSM chastity cages from Shul, which is a company that makes the cellmate chastity ch cage. And basically what it is, is it's a prison for your penis. You put it on and you can't get an erection and it also squeezes the fuck out of it. I can't show you a picture of it in use, but from the pictures I saw of people actually using it, it looks like it's strangling your cock like it owes it money. It looks like it's trying to squeeze the last drop of toothpaste out of the tube. And the idea is it's used in BDSM play where your partner has an app that controls the chastity cage and you have to beg them to unleash it so that way you can get an erection or get your penis to have blood circulating to it again so it doesn't just get like necrosis and fall off. So that's where it comes from, it's sexual pleasure from your partner having total control over your penis. And unfortunately, there was a security vulnerability that was revealed months ago and only just recently exploited by a hacker who took control of the cages and held the penises hostage unless they sent them 0 .02 Bitcoin or, or something like that, which is like $270. But unless that ransom was paid, he was taking your dick and twisting it with that chastity cage. You couldn't get it off. There wasn't like a fail safe to it. Like once the hacker had control, he had full fucking control of your wiener. So you couldn't pee, you couldn't come, you couldn't sh well you could shit, but it wouldn't be a good shit because what's a shit without peeing too? So it was absolutely miserable and a lot of people were reporting the problem to the company. And then the company eventually had to come up with a solution so they showed an emergency failsafe with a screwdriver, which I'll put on screen now. So this was the only way to avoid paying the ransom. And also the hacker was insulting the victim, saying things like, Your cock is mine now. I'm an ancient wizard who's used magic to take control of your meat. You must play by my rules because I am the scrotum sorcerer. I'm the last cock bender. Just all kinds of shit like that that he was sending to the victims. And uh, it's just been a, it's been a real mess. I found no information on how much this hacker is likely made or how many people actually paid the ransom, but I have to imagine it's a decent chunk of change considering that the attack affected quite a few people from the sound of things. I don't know how many people out there or how many people watching right now have a penis prison put on their wiener right now, but with this new kind of cyber warfare tactic, this new kind of terrorist attack, I would definitely say be a little more careful when locking your dick in like a fucking shark cage. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about this because I found this to be a really interesting and pretty innovative use of technology uh, that I just thought was worth mentioning. Luckily, they did find a solution that isn't just paying the guy, so that's good, but it does seem like it voids the warranty, so if you do unfortunately fall victim to the hacker, it looks like you've lost warranty if you're trying to get yourself out without paying. Also, I was reading about a guy who actually fell victim to the hacker multiple times, which to me is wild, like, you know, you put this on and then like, oh no! I've been hijacked by the evil, you know, dirty bubble. I can't, I can't get my fucking chastity cage off. And then you get on the support line with the company, they get it off for you, you're like, oh, whew, close call. And then you put it right back on, only to get hit by the hacker again, like, come on now. Like, there, I'm sure there's other options, like, you don't need to have, like, the cellmate chastity cage on at all times. There's probably alternatives, like, how about you just squeeze your wiener real hard, and then your partner says, hey, you can't stop squeezing your wiener till I tell you to, you know? Like, do it the old-fashioned way, manual. It doesn't need to be, you know, smart chastity cages. So, yeah, just a pretty wild story all around, but uh, that's about it. See so, ya. Yeah.